Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be making up probably two cards using this by Land, Sea and Air decoupage topper sheet that I got. This came in one of my um, hunky dory goodie boxes. I actually already have this entire kit. I think it's really good. It's great for mail cards. Um, but I did get a couple of random odd single sheets as part of my goodie boxes. This was actually picked up and put into my Chris's craft challenge yesterday. But I didn't get a chance to make any cards out of it. And my little boy really wanted me to. So he's asked me to do a Noah's craft challenge today of making up two, well, at least one of these um, into a card for him. So I can't say no, can I? I'm going to make these two up. Now, I know I've done quite a lot of 3D decoupage on the channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make these two toppers up. But I'm going to speed it up so that you haven't got to watch me. Because it can take a little bit of time to make these decoupage toppers. So I'm going to keep it in the video. For if anybody is watching for the first time and don't know how to do them. But I'm going to speed this section up a little bit. So that it doesn't take too long in the video. And then when I come back we'll actually put these onto some cards. So I will fast forward this next bit until we're ready. <laughs>
is our two pieces of decoupage toppers. Um, I absolutely love this effect. I've used a fairly thin um, foam tape on these ones. So it means they're not too thick, um, but they've definitely got a beautiful amount of dimension. I know I've said this in the past, you can use whatever you want. Um, so this is just some really thin foam tape that I picked up from Amazon. It's a giant roll. It's lasting me ages. I absolutely love it. I'm going to keep buying that while I can get it. Um, but I've also made up these decoupage pieces in the past. This is another good way is with these strips. They are thicker, so they'll make your decoupage thicker. You can use silicon glue if it still exists. I've still got one that I haven't used yet, um, but I don't know if they still do it. So I've just kind of kept it. You can even just use like your standard wet glue. I've made um, a decoupage topper with um, just standard wet glue because even though it doesn't give you the same amount of height, it's the fact that there's multiple layers that gives you that little bit of dimension on those. So. It's time to make these into cards. I'm just going to trim off some of this. I'm trying to think what I've got in my stash that I could use for this. I don't think I've got anything, any papers or anything that are like racing or car themed or anything. Which is a shame. I have dinosaur themed papers, but I don't quite think these will suit dinosaur papers. I've got space themed ones from Teemu, but I'm just, I'm 99% sure I don't have anything racing themed. So what I might do is just pause the video and have a rummage around all of my papers and see what we've got that's gonna match this. I'll try and get something with a bit of pattern on, but it might end up being just multiple um layers of colored cardstock so let me pause the video to you'll be a second to me i'm gonna go and have a rummage and see what i've got i'm back i haven't really got anything um i think there's definitely like a gap in the market for a lot of men's themed things i've got like travel themed but it's all like airplanes and hot air balloons and not really like car related um, I've got dinosaur stuff, as I said, but I haven't really got anything else, and it is such a shame. Um, I have picked up my textured cardstock books because I do really like these. Um, I don't know whether to put that one on a grey, like that, and then uh, I think black will be too dark for that. Yeah, I think that's too dark. I think I'm going to go for grey on that one. These have got a little bit of texture, which is nice as well. So I think I'm going to pop that one on there. I'm going to do like a bit of a layered effect, I think. And then... Got that pale blue it would stand out on that i wanted something a little bit more like turquoisey a bit like the car but i don't have anything that sort of color so i might go for the pale blue might do that as the legs with maybe some gold in the middle so they are quite cool toned which would normally suit better with silver but it's topped with gold then that one there maybe your number one that, I think that would work and then for this one Again, a piece of gold because it's foiled with the gold anyway. We have the grey. So we could do the grey maybe on top. So that the white car contrasts against it. What other colour? Got less like off white. Would that work, do you think? Maybe a sheet of this. To 
this one in that. This is like an off-white. It's not, it's not a true white. Maybe like that. I think I'm going to put these on um, some A6 cards. I quite like them on the A6. Yeah, because that's more of a true white look. I don't think I want the black. No, we'll go for those two. Let me grab two card blanks. And then we'll cut down these panels. So, grab my cutter. going to measure this slightly over the four by just over five and three quarters so it's about there isn't it so maybe if I come in to even this out to the inch and then we say just over the fours and it will give us a bit of it won't be even but you know what so, won't give me a nice even edge around but it, what it does do now is it gives me a nice number to work with so this one would then come in at five and a half all right three and three quarters so then that would sit nicely on there like so and I'm just going to pause the video because I've caught my finger I'm back um so I can't remember what size we did now we did five and a half by three and three quarters so for this one we're going to come in at three and a half and we're going to come in at five and a quarter. So now that will sit on top of there, like so. That will sit on top of there. And then there'll be just like an almost non existent um, order. But that's okay, to be fair. And then we can have our racing car and our sentiment so i like that one we're going to do the same on here if i can remember my measurements so we'll probably work our way up so we did three and a half by five and a quarter layer one We did three and three quarters by five and a half. Yep. And then we did four by five and three quarters. So then that one will sit on there like so. With our number one racing car and our sentiment. There we go. I think they'll look okay. I'll move those over there. Let's get building this card up. So you're just going to use a bit of wet glue. 
especially when my borders are so small like they are on this one wet glue gives me a little bit more ability to make it precise I guess That is layer one. Layer two. Make sure that my texture side goes up so that we've got that texture in the background. There we go. Then I'm going to wet glue this and I'm going to decoupage that one. Because unless I put layers upon layers of decoupage on, that's still always going to be smaller than my topper is. So I'll wet glue this one down. Like so, I'm going to do the same to this, so while I've got just a bit of spare tape, I might as well stick it on here. Oops. Through there like so. champion there we go that's our first card and then let's get this one glued down as well so in this one we've got the grey as the base Right, let me just recut that blue one. So, okay, guys, I don't need to recut it. it. Turns out I've got that upside down. This is the texture bit that I want anyway, so that can just stay there. So, we're all good. I don't need to recut, which is perfect. Look, it was upside down. So, we'll touch this next. Oops, 
really like all these multiple layers that we put on with this and then I'm going to do this one wet glued down And there we go that is our two racing card designs i know they're very simple designs um but i think they're really really nice and you've got the beauty of the decoupage sheets um toppers that really they need to be emphasised. I don't really want too busy of a background that your your attention is drawn to the background instead of those toppers. I do wish I had some more masculine papers. It's definitely something that I need to look out for. So if you do have any ideas, if you know of any um, companies or anything that have some really good paper pads, I don't mind the size. I work with 6x6, 8x8s, 12x12s, A4, A5, like any size that it comes in. If they've got some really good men's papers please do let me know in the comments down below i hope you've enjoyed this and hopefully my little boy will ha be happy now that i've made some of the racer car cards thank you so much for joining me here today i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week bye for now